but uh, as for the experience, we're all just sitting live at this moment, watching this lion breathe, watching that grass move in the wind. It's nice to have you here. Again, I say this often, but it's something very special, very unique, very fresh and very new that Wild Earth is bringing to the possibility of experiencing wildlife. The fact that this is live, the fact that for the next hour they might do nothing else than, than lie around, or you never know, maybe another male joins them, maybe something comes past that grabs their attention, you never, never know. And that is what, uh, what makes it Wild Earth too very special. I think it's really exciting. Look at that. Uh, big canines. You can see he's missing one of those front teeth. The little ones in between the canines. The canines mainly there to grip. In other words, if they're fighting, obviously it's a big tool or a big weapon. But if they're hunting as well, it just allows them to get a very strong grip into the throat or onto the throat of whatever animal they're hunting. Or sometimes even right into the spinal cord. They don't actually use those large canine teeth for feeding. They've got teeth further into the back of the jaw, sort of where our molars are, relatively speaking. They've got carnational shears, very sharp teeth, act like scissor blades for them to cut into tissue when they're feeding. But uh, the sharp end of the line certainly are those canines. It's one of the reasons we don't mess with them too much. But he's going to walk. Let's see where he goes bit of a stretch, standing tall, maybe he's just going to go bond with his coalition partner a bit. That's the nice lines there, Yeah. <laughs> you can see you don't, don't want to mess with these boys. I'm just going to move forward slightly, I think he's walking over to Mr. T. just walking over there. Let's just have a look at this guy. I'm sure he might follow. Oh, they're nice looking cats. Stations, two Mapojo is getting a little bit mobile. Third still lying down, um, heading south towards Sandy Patch from the firebreak. for no worries. Are you bugging those Mapojos now? Uh, yeah, two is a little bit more south from where I'm talking now. There's Valanglera there, so I'm getting back. Yeah, Shabuf, enjoy. Is that able there? No. It's another move, huh? Sorry, um, Abel, come back. Uh, Sorry, Info, I'm not quite sure. Maybe I misunderstood you because I think Aubrey just joined you. I saw another Mova coming from the south. Um, have you got another two Mapojos somewhere else? The two is uh, the south from where I'm talking here. We're talking the road there. Two Lalapos in the road. Okay, so we've got five in total in the area then. Oh, I'm mostly stuff for. Okay, well, uh, a little bit of momentarily misunderstanding there, but it seems that we've got five lions in total in the area at the moment. Let's just stick with this guy for a minute or two. I've got a feeling he'll probably get up and go to join the others quite soon, but. Um, case we'll follow him there otherwise we'll head over there ourselves oh, 
But then again, sometimes I'm a bit impatient. I think let's, um, Rex, let's just quickly give that lens a wipe again. Huh? That's not to interrupt your view, but I'll just give it a very quick wipe. Getting a lot of mist in that lens. Have one quick look at this guy. Just giving us a little bit of the eyes there. <laughs> and I keep saying this over and over, but I do like these lions a lot. Uh, they've got, uh, apart from very full bellies at the moment, they've got a lot of power in their eyes, more than I've seen for a long time in any other lions. It's special to have that. So let's follow him. I'm sure you'll take us to the other brothers. See what he's doing there, he's marking. See the other one lying down in the road there as well. The others have already marked it. He might rub his face into that guari bush. And well, then he might not. Maybe he's decided the others have marked, made enough of a mark already. He's going to join that one. It seems they're all just very, very slowly moving along. Certainly they've decided that they've had enough to eat now. I think the carcass is part of the history for them now. They're not going to go back there. They've all got very full bellies now so they can afford to start covering some ground again. Let's get a bit closer. One on the road. This is the guy with a slightly darker mane. There's old Tomahawk or Mr. T. walking out to the bushes there. That's the third male, the one that stood up last. <laughs> Look at that belly. Almost looks like it's going to fall off. Really, really full. Yeah. He's scent marking a little bit, very lazily. He's just spraying some urine on the ground. You'll see he's probably going to scratch with his back paws a bit. Not really making much of an effort. <laughs> Just heard a terrible sound as the battery's beeping, but I think we'll get a bit more time out of it. What I want to do quickly is just go along the road and see the other two as well. Because if we can see two more Mapojos, seen five of them, that means that uh, 